When a capillary tube is suspected of being restricted, use bulletin SS46-13 to clear and establish flow through it or to confirm a complete restriction. Work safe, always use personal and property protection equipment. After all refrigerant has been recovered using standard procedures, the low side is isolated and nitrogen equipment is connected to perform a reverse purge at the low side design pressure limit to dislodge the obstruction in the cap tube. Follow the general setup and safety steps listed and shown in Bulletin TT46-07 and the supporting video TT46-07SV. Cut the suction line at a convenient place. Connect a process tubing adapter on the open suction line from the evaporator using the correct size sleeves and rubber grommet for the suction line. Tighten to properly seal the adapter. The dryer has been removed and examined internally for contamination. Place the open cap tube end onto a shop towel. For the purpose of this video the cap tube is left visible However, it is suggested to place the shop towel and cap tube end into a container to collect debris. Set up the nitrogen equipment. Connect the manifold center hose to the regulator. On the manifold, close the low side valve and open the high side valve. Open the center port valve and connect the high side hose and hand valve in the closed position to the process tube adapter on the suction tube. Back off the regulator adjustment completely counterclockwise. Then crack open the tank valve. Adjust the regulator output pressure up to the low side designer test pressure rating for the model being serviced. Do not exceed the low side design pressure or 170 psi, whichever is lowest. This model is rated at 140 psi low side design pressure. Confirm that the manifold high side gauge reading is the same as the regulator working pressure gauge. Slowly open the high side hose valve at the suction line process tube adapter. Listen and feel for nitrogen exiting the open end of the cap tube. A steady flow indicates a clear cap tube. Close the tank valve and bleed the system and equipment pressure as described in TT46-07. If the reverse purge attempt is unsuccessful, a forward purge at the high side design pressure limit is the next step. An access port is connected to the cap tube inlet in the machine compartment. A process tube adapter is not used here due to the small diameter of the capillary tubing and the high pressure of nitrogen. So with the access port brazed onto the capillary tube and our nitrogen rig set up in the same way as before, connect the high side hose and hand valve to the access port with the valve in the shut off position or closed position. Again, these are all the same. We'll leave the center port hand valve open. Crack open the bottle just as before. Make sure we don't hear any leaks. And then we can go ahead and start increasing our work pressure and based on the uh, pressure limits that are in the model data plate or on the model data plate, this one says we can go as high as 300 PSI on the high side. So we'll slowly increase it, listening as we go. Make sure we don't have any leaks in our 
equipment up to 200 now we'll stop right there we're right at 300 so now I'm going to go ahead and pull this process tube adapter off so we can monitor the suction line. So we'll go through the evaporator coming in on the cap tube and out on the suction line and I'll just use my thumb to monitor any gas coming out. So I'll open up the hand valve here and I saw the uh, pressure gauge go down a little bit and then I come here and put my thumb on the end and you can hear this one is clear as I release my thumb where you can see it so that proves that the cap tube is clear now or whether it was clogged before or not it's definitely clear now so to shut down the process, we'll go ahead and close off our hand valve and we'll back off the regulator. All the way. Close the tank and then slowly close it, close this one. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one too. And take off our valve. Now I can open that. And then, just in case I have any debris coming out. All right, now I still have the um, tank pressure on this side, so I'll go ahead and slowly crank in the regulator to relieve that pressure. And we're good to go. A final attempt involves isolating the cap tube completely from the evaporator and repeating the procedure to apply nitrogen pressure. To monitor the flow, close the nitrogen tank valve and then look and listen to the open end of the cap tube at the evaporator. If servicing a Source 795 refrigerator manufactured by LG, check for a crimp in the capillary tube just ahead of the evaporator inlet. This crimp reduces the inside diameter of the cap tube and may contribute to a restriction. Remove this crimp and check for flow through the cap tube. Details on isolation of more complicated dual evaporator models by the four major manufacturers can be found in any of the four bulletins in Tech Assist SS46-17, 18, 19, and 20. For additional information, such as when the attempts to clear the restriction are unsuccessful, see Bulletin SS 46-13.